Hello, my name is Ashley, this is Faith Ratos. Welcome or welcome back. So, say hello to Mr. Asriel. This video is basically all about you, my little boy. I actually have two other Russian based rats. So he's not the only one, but I wanted to show him because he actually is a Russian blue. Um, here he is. You see his dark grey bluey colour. I'll also show you some pictures of him where he looks really blue. And you can see why it's called Russian blue because in this lighting he just looks grey. Um, but the blue colour is quite blue um, in some lighting, especially natural lighting. Um, he is a gorgeous little boy. Um, look at him. He's really, really sweet, really nice. Um, he is an example of a Russian blue. Um, so I'll pop up the um, standard for Russian blue here in the UK, um, just so you can get an idea of how it's described. Um, just as we take a look at this gorgeous specimen of a rat. He is from Kinra, if anybody's interested. He's just a straight Russian blue, nothing else going on with him. No markings on his tum tum. He's just a Russian blue. Yes, you are. And T is about 12 weeks old now, so he's a baby still. Yes. So the Russian blue gene is a simple recessive. It is noted by a little r and a little b for Russian blue. There are other blue genes out there. There is British blue and also American blue. These two genes, I don't know too much about, so I won't be making a video on them anytime soon, but those are two other blue genes. And I think there's also an Australian blue. I don't know. Anyway, so the Russian blue gene also affects the coat type. It's not just colour. It creates a really dense double coat. And with Russian blue, it should be really hard to see the skin um, with the Russian coat because the Russian coat is double. I'll try and get a video or a picture, if I can, of the thick, dense Russian coat. That's how it should be. That's what the standard is here in the UK. So the Russian blue gene is a colour gene, but also it affects the coat type. As I mentioned, it makes it that double coat. And the Russian blue gene is simple. If it's present, if there's two copies of the, the allele present, it will present and it can be carried um, like other recessives. And if it's on a black based rat, then it will be Russian blue. And then on an agouti based rat, it will be Russian blue agouti. And there's many other flavors of rat that have the Russian blue gene. And I can na name a few of those varieties here in the UK. So you have Russian dove, which is Russian blue and one of the minks. Oh my gosh. So you also have Russian blue agouti, so that is Russian blue and agouti. You have Russian dove agouti, which is the Russian blue gene, a mink gene plus agouti. Then you can have Russian on modifiers of other things like a Russian Burmese or a Russian blue modifier on a Siamese will make a blue point Siamese, which is a really cute, really nice variety. I've shown them up on here before. You know, and the list is endless. There's other things that the Russian blue gene can do when it's in association with other genes. And yeah, the Russian blue gene is pretty simple. It works in a simple way. It's either carried, it's present, and it's being shown, it's being expressed when there's two copies, or it's not there at all. It's very simple. It can be present in lots of different things and create lots of different varieties. And one of the most famous rats, Remy from Ratatouille, if he was a real rat, he would be a Russian blue. And yeah, that is all for this video. Super simple, super quick. I thought I'd make an easy, quick video because I am still making the intros vlog as the intros are taking a little bit longer. And also, I'm just really bad at filming and editing. So that will be coming soon. That should be the next video. But yes, I hope this video on the Russian blue gene was helpful and useful. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.